Hey guys, how are you going? Shane here. Today we'll review the Whitetail Whale Shark. The deck is 34 inches long, 9.75 at the inner bolt line. Very big nose. 6 inches measured from the outer ball. The wheelbase measured from inner ball is 16 and a half inches. The tail length is 6 and a half inches long measured from the outer ball. The really nice thing about this deck is this pretty nice concave and huge nose which locks you in side to side and front to back. The tail is tapered a bit to allow for easier slides. So your heel and your toes are able to grab the rail to push through it. If you really want to see someone who makes full use of the nose, do check out Mark the Landlock Surfer on YouTube, aka the unconventional surf skater. The steep angle of the nose and the tail suggests that this board was designed for aggressive riding. When you hop on the board, you instantly feel your body more locked in to perform radical maneuvers. This is the setup that I use for flat ground cruising. It slides very easily thanks to the Phantom Super Carve. And yes, I've just rotated the wheels to increase its lifespan. And I like the C7 because you can easily adjust the spring tension. Overall, this is a very loose setup. This is my park setup. It's a little bit tighter, but still keep its looseness thanks to the C7 here. And I can easily switch trucks thanks to the click system. The wheels, which are on the harder side, allows for greater speeds. And I've got the stock sandpaper grip tape for maximum grip. Riding barefoot was perfectly fine, except maybe if you spend too long on the board, you start to feel the rail on the tail really digging in your back foot, and it makes it uncomfortable while you're doing your maneuvers. Riding in the velodrome was a very nice experience. The way the whale shark is designed really sets up your body for nice snaps and slides. As you're really locked in in the ball, you can focus on your maneuvers without ever worrying about slipping out.
amazing though. I love all this. Just knowing that that front foot's got something. It's really cool. Whale sharks. This board is sick. It's an awesome concave that most of the boards we ride do, but that's great. Uh, the thing that sets it apart is the front, isn't it? It's having this big nose, so wherever you are up there, you can know you're on the board and not going to go off it. I haven't really started to use it yet, but on my other board, which has barely any nose, I'm just starting to notice that I can feel that front edge. I know I'm not going to hang up when I go over coping. So with the whale shark, there's like a no brainer. You can just know where you are and even utilize that, I imagine. Um, kind of look forward to that transition when I'm on this one, that's the front, right? So as soon as I hang up, if I don't stay on it, I go off it. Whereas on this, you're not gonna go off that unless you really go off. So that's really usable, really useful. I'm gonna open up a whole bunch of stuff that all the surf skaters are doing now. I imagine ollies are better. What do you reckon, Shane? Totally. Ollies would be way better. But then it doesn't take away from the rest of the deck. Like I've just been riding it in the bowl and haven't used the front at all. It sticks to my feet really well. Even the one with the cream pine sticks really well because you can feel this pocket right here, the, the concave there and the concave there. So even if there's movement, you're not going to go off. That's really, really nice. It just kind of hugs you in. Really cool. The back tail is great. A bit different to what I'm used to. So I was finding kick turns initially weren't happening because I was about here and because it's a bit shorter than my other board as soon as I'm back on the proper tail that's all happening you can kind of feel the front come around um, maybe because of the nose weight but I think it's great I think I take the nose over anything else moving forwards like what would my next board be the wheel base is spot on what I'm used to what I like tiny little bit longer but only like a quarter of an inch maybe half an inch I don't know not really noticeable and it's also because of the C7 Sorry? that's why it looks uh, the C7 makes it look a bit longer yeah it could be we took the grass to grass didn't we yep but even grass to grass it was a teeny bit longer um, but it's riding really well on the grass and on the C7 um, so super super fun board it looks pretty cool I like the artwork do you feel bad about destroying the artwork Shane? um not really i'm <laughs> really? gonna put any rail rails on it to just mean this well loved well loved that's what we say over here it means trashed <laughs> well done sophie i really like it and you know i have to see it being my next board when i continue to well love my other board <laughs> so thank you Thanks for the rides. Yeah, two thumbs up.
So yeah, I think the Whale Shark is certainly a very, very nice looking deck. Uh, it's also a really good shape. So I really like the concave it's got going on. This tail's really good. I don't use the nose too much for any of the things I do, but I mean, it certainly looks really good. Um, I feel really comfortable riding it. I feel like my feet are kind of where I want them to be. They get held in the right place. Everything's just kind of where you want it to be. Um, and certainly if you're looking for like a longer wheelbase board, that is good for doing a few interests and maneuvers. I think it's really great. Like I was doing a few airs on it earlier and I landed some pretty sloppily, but because it's like so nice and stable, you know, you could just skate away from this stuff. So yeah, I think a really good kind of progressive board shape. Yeah, really nice. So the tail on it does come in a bit, so it's a bit narrower than the rest of the board, but personally, I don't find that a problem. If you look at where my foot is, my ball of the foot, even though my toes are kind of hanging over the edge, my ball of the foot is really nicely on there. So I feel like really kind of stable and, and like I can push fine. So for reference, these are like, whatever, European size 43, so they're like US 10, something like that. So big-ish, but not giant feet. <laughs> Did you do it this time? Yes. Nice. <laughs> to conclude, I really think the Whitetail Whale Shark is a deck you need to have in your quiver. The design allows for progressive surf skating, things such as airs and ollies become easier. If I had to travel and bring only one deck with me, this would be my go-to. Because I think, at the moment, this is the best all-rounder. Thanks so much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to press like, share and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Cheers!